This is level 15 of Tomb Raider 4, the Catacombs. We've already been here a little bit at the end of the last episode. Just to get things set up, we need to, needed to, uh, to stabilize this floor at the end of the last episode. Uh, but now we're here, we're going to push this statue all the way to the end and that's going to open a door into the, uh, the deeper parts of the Catacombs. There's four secrets that we're going to find in this level and a few ice elementals that we need to deal with as well. We just need to push this a little bit further and then that door up there is going to open for us. An ice elemental is going to come out so we're going to have to find some way to, to stop that. One more and... oh no, one more Lara. So the ice elemental should kill itself on this statue. There we go. Just took a little while for that to happen. So now we're going to run back out. And uh, slide down the pole that you saw. There's a, a, a fairly deep hole in the floor here. So we will need to be a little bit careful. Let's just line this up. There we go, that'll do. Okay, so the first secret is, um... High on the wall to Lara's left at the moment. You will want to save the game here because there's some uh, some tricky rope swinging and the, the mechanic is kind of a little bit weird. Now the easiest way to make this second rope swing is to actually just wait until the uh, the rope stops swinging then you can turn around hopefully line it up a little bit and uh, make that second jump let's actually just slide down to the bottom here if it is swinging in, in a different direction a little bit sometimes Lara can jump off in a weird angle and it's, it's just it's kind of really weird and uh, a little bit frustrating but I think we're we're good to go and I've figured out that we need to line it up slightly to the left of the second rope here otherwise it's not really going to work for us but uh, let's see hopefully this works there we go now you don't need to worry too much about this one we just need to to get up uh, there so let's just try this again that wasn't uh, wasn't a very good swing Not happy with this swing. Let's just grab, bring Lara down a little bit. Okay, beautiful. <clears throat> and uh, we're going to drop down to the first secret here. And uh, in one of these jars, there should be uh, some shotgun shells. There we go. Uh, some wide shotgun shells. We're going to pick these up and then uh, slide down the ramp uh, to the water down below.
Okay, I kind of like the uh, the explosive arrows there. They work pretty well. Take down those skeletons with a single shot. We've got to do a little bit of uh, jumping in this room. Uh, there's some, a few levers that we need to pull, so let's go and uh, see if we can jump across to this one first of all. There we go. Some more shotgun shells, so we're going to pick these up and okay, yeah. So there's uh, some handholds up the top here, and uh, we're going to swing across to the other side and pull that second lever, which is going to um, draw out another couple of blocks so we can make the jumps to the other side of the room. Unfortunately, there's another. Uh, ice elemental that we'll need to deal with. I'm just going to ignore it and uh, hopefully it won't do too much damage because I can't be bothered uh, making my way all the way back around here. So hopefully it's not going to do too much damage here and we'll be able to, to pull this lever fairly, uh, fairly quickly. So there is another golden statue through here, so we will be able to. Oh, we will. Why did she turn around there? So we will be able to uh, kill the ice elemental. We just need to wait here for a moment. Come on. No, we're not close enough. Oh, there we go. Oh, Lara's a little bit stuck. Okay, let's climb. Let's uh, sorry, swim through to the uh, the large building again. I'm just going to make my way back up these steps, back to the center of the room. Then we should be able to jump across to the other side. Okay, so just one more jump. Let's uh, jump into here, and uh, we actually want to just drop down on the, oop, just drop down over on the left side here. Oops, and uh, we're going to just drop back and uh, traverse across to the right. Lara should be able to get around this corner here, and uh, we'll keep going until we can find a ledge to drop down onto. if there's anything in the, these jars. Nope. No, that's fine. All right, let's carry on. Uh, we're going to continue through to another room here with, uh, you can see a pedestal there and another one of these rope swings. Okay, so there's a few more skeletons that are going to get up. Are they 
going to wake up. There we go. Let's go and take out that one. Uh, is there another one? Okay, beautiful. Um, and there's some shotgun shells in this jar as well. I don't want to use uh, an explosive arrow to shoot it, so let's just uh, duck down and uh, see if we can take that out. There we go. And uh, shotgun shells, wide shotgun shells, which I haven't really used yet here. Now we're going to have to take a jump across the rope to the center pillar. Um, it's another one of these uh, rope jumps. I am going to uh, quickly save the game before I attempt this. Looks like it's kind of lined up, but... Um, I'm just dropping down here because there are a few items we can pick up. Uh, we've got some more arrows, uh, shotgun shells, and I think there's more regular shotgun shells somewhere around the corner. Let's just go and have a quick look. I think in one of these jars. Uh, it's not that one. Okay, there we go. Uh, regular shotgun shells. Let's go and pick these ones up, and then uh, we have to take the uh, slow climb uh, back up the ladder to the uh, the room we just came from. Now just up here we have a large medipack. Once I grab this, um, a few of the skeletons are going to wake up. So let's go and grab the uh, the laser sight, uh, the laser sighted crossbow. Oh, there's one there. There's another one there, and there's a third one over there. Beautiful. So this is the second trident. We are going to need to find four of those tridents. Uh, so far we found two, another two we need to find. Uh, we're just going to climb up this pole and um, I think we've got a few things in the room just above here. So we've got the, uh, looks like explosive arrows. I think that might be it. Oops, I missed that, uh, <laughs> I missed that pole. It's hard to line up some of these jumps. Okay, let's continue. If I can, uh, if I can actually grab onto the pole, let's continue climbing up. It's a bit hard to see which way she's facing. There we go.
Um. Okay, there we go. So we're just uh, back flipping into this hallway here. And uh, we do need to find the third uh, trident somewhere around here. This door is going to open up automatically. And this take, takes us back to this pole room here. Um, there is a skeleton here this time. So let's go and take him out. Okay, so we should be able to find just a small ladder um, on the right side here once uh, once you've taken out those skeletons. So I'm just going to climb up and uh, see where this takes me. Um, we've got doors to the left and the right. There's one up ahead as well. Uh, we can head in both of these and see where they lead. I'm going to try this one first of all. Okay, looks like we took out uh, both those skeletons with a single shot. There's some Uzi clips here. I think that's all that's here. So let's go and uh, head into the uh, the other side now. There's a lot of skeletons in these catacombs. There's definitely a lot of skeletons. Anything over there? No. Okay, yeah, there's a small alcove just ahead. This level is quite confusing. It is the catacombs. Um, I guess it's called the catacombs for a reason, but it does. Yeah, it is quite a confusing level. Uh, there was a skeleton there on the ground, so we just killed him, and we can actually climb up this uh, this stone wall. Now, I think hidden in the corner over here we have uh, some shotgun shells, so I might as well go and pick these ones up before we continue uh, looking for the uh, the next trident. Sorry, uh, a large medipack is here. Yeah, let's take out those skeletons there. We've got some shotgun shells over in uh, this corner here. So we need to do a running jump and a grab uh, to make it this far. And if, if you look up, you may notice that there is um, there's actually another trident on a pedestal up there. Um, if you can uh, see through that window, so that's where we're headed. Just going to jump across.
Okay, so this is the uh, the third trident. Let's go and grab this one. There's one more that we need to find somewhere on this level. And uh, now I actually need to do some uh, some jumping uh, back across to the other side of the room here. And uh, where we're headed is uh, we're going to take that rope swing and uh, use that to... Well, we can jump across to the other side and then uh, jump into that little alcove there. There's a, a pole that we're going to climb up to the next level. Oh, I can probably... Now we can deal with these skeletons now before they wake up, which might be a good idea to at least kill a few of them uh, before we pick up the uh, the last trident here. Let's go and grab this one. Okay, so now that we have the four tridents, we're just going to pick up a few secrets before leaving this level. And uh, this secret is a little bit interesting. We need to um, destroy all of the piles of bones, and that will open a trap door. So I'm just going to go to the crossbow, choose the uh, choose the normal ammo. I think there's one more over here, so let's go and grab this one. Um, destroy this one, I should say. Let's uh, take that out. There we go. So that should open a, a trap door back down here, uh, where we can pick up the uh, the second secret. And that also opens up, opens up the uh, the third secret. So we've got some more explosive arrows there. They will come in uh, pretty handy. How do I get out of this place? go. Oops. Took a lot of damage there. <laughs> I hate trying to line up those uh, those wooden poles and things like that, and the ropes as well, they're a little bit tricky to to line up. Let's run across. Uh, where do we need to go? 
Right, we're heading to the uh, the brown door that just opened, which is going to be uh, secret number three. drop down here somewhere and I'm going to be heading through is it these stairs here no no there is another secret somewhere else uh, this door over here I think this is where we need to go and this is going to be an elevator taking us up to the higher level And uh, this is actually the last secret of the level, secret number four. Um, how do I get out of this place? I think there's a ledge over here that I can just drop out from... Ah, here we go. Okay, let's have a look. We're going to drop down here, and once more we're going to drop down... Oop, I think this will... Oops, this will do. Lost a little bit of health there. Um, now we're going to head out um, upstairs and just find the level exit. So that's pretty much the end of level 15. It's a little bit tricky um, running around in these uh, these catacombs here. 